So first off, there are of course multiple ways to do this. You got head mounts for smartphones, GoPro mounts, holding the phone in your hand, tripods, all kinds of crazy ways to do it. But you want to keep in mind a few important things. 1. Driving safely. If you aren't comfortable with seeing a little less than usual because of the camera obstructing your view, then you should probably look into the Insta360 GO 2. I did a whole video on it and yes, it has got its flaws. But it's also just the easiest way to do it without obstructing your view. 2. Quality of video. A lot of different ways to film also means a lot of different cameras which in turn create different styles. 1080p, 4K, 5K, how many frames per second, etc. Now I am a fan of the POV style in which you see every head movement. Like looking left or right when you make a turn for example. This can only be accomplished when you mount the camera on your head. And if you don't care about that, then you could also consider buying a tripod. 3. Weight of the camera. While neither of these options will make you look any cooler, it's also very uncomfortable to have a heavy phone on your head while you drive. So I wouldn't recommend these head mounts for your smartphone. So let's look at all the options. The Insta360 GO 2, a small and light camera which comes with easy mounts but it only films in 1440p with 60 fps. Big downside is that it only captures videos for like 9 minutes inside a car. Because then it overheats. So if that's enough or you want to only film sections then this is a very affordable and easy option for you. The GoPro. Which films in 5k or even higher but is a little heavier. For optimal result, it should be mounted on a head with a clip, so that the GoPro hangs in front of your forehead. This does obstruct your view a little, but it gives the best result in my opinion. Your smartphone, while holding it or mounting it on your head or chest. Depending on which you have, most nowadays film in 4K with at least 30 FPS. Now this is not comfortable at all. And since most smartphones weigh more than a GoPro for example, it will be shaky as well. Holding it while driving is also something I wouldn't recommend for safety issues. Mounting it to your chest is an option, but it looks weird since you cannot see the road all that much. And since people are used to seeing this sort of videos on a certain height, it won't be perfect. Any camera on a tripod next to you or mounted on a seat or roof. Now this would be my choice if I didn't care about the head movements being in the video. You can easily buy a Gorillapod style tripod and mount it to your passenger's seat's headrest. Or stick it up the roof if you have a glass roof for example. It will be less inviting footage since the only thing that you will be able to see is the road changing and the steering wheel turning. But it will do the job. I've also seen people turn gorilla pots around their necks and film it that way. But the camera will be lower again, so that's one argument against it already. And the second argument would be that it's just very annoying to drive like that. And you also look like a fool when you stop at a traffic light. So to summarize, easy to use while sacrificing being able to record for longer periods of time. Go for the Insta360 GO 2. For the best result, go for the GoPro with a clip on your head and do it that way. Now I wouldn't say this is the best for night filming since the GoPro isn't amazing at night. But if you are going to do the POV moving type videos, this would be the best option for that. And also because the Insta360 GO 2 is even worse at night. For long filming sessions, like making a trip or time lapse, I think having a better camera on a tripod beats it. Because head movements don't matter here and it is hands down the most comfortable way to film long sessions. Hope that helped. And if you haven't, please check out my channel for more tech related videos. I hope to see you on the next video.